hey guys welcome back to another video at the end of December I went down to California and picked up a lot of 29 Apple computers uh, if you missed that video I'll link to it above but anyway I ended up with about 13 Power Mac G5 computers and I decided that I was going to keep one for myself to tinker around with and have fun so naturally I decided I needed to go find a couple of games for it. I got one game in particular, Diablo, that I liked playing on those old iMac G3, the original, and I wanted to play it on the Power Mac. However, it was running 10.5 and didn't have a classic mode. So I had to go through and get the G5 all set up in classic mode so that I can play old games as well as games that were compatible with 10.5 Leopard. So in this video I'm going to show you how to downgrade your Power Mac from 10.5 to 10.4 which enables classic mode and then I'm going to show you how to set classic mode up so that you can play games that were for Mac OS 9 or 8. It's a simple process, so let's get into it. In order to run classic Mac OS 9 on a Power Mac, you're going to need to downgrade the software from 10.5 Leopard to 10.4 or 10.3. That's the first thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to insert the installation disk for 10.4. And then I'm going to power the computer off. And now in order to boot from the CD, we push and hold C on the keyboard and power the computer back on. And you can release the C key. Proceed through the installer. Select continue and agree. And it's giving us an error message or a triangle here because we already have a newer version of Mac OS installed on this. So what we want to do is hit options. It gives us three different options to choose from. Uh, I'm going to choose erase and install because I don't have anything on this Mac. There is also the option to archive your existing version. Now you get the green light. You can go ahead and proceed with the installation. Click install. And then it's going to go through, check the installation DVD, and then install. It's a somewhat time-consuming process. A couple of quick notes. Wow the installation is running you need to make sure that you have the correct installation disk for your power PC power Mac uh, there are different versions of 10.4 for the power Mac the power book the iMac the iBook so make sure you have the correct one selected or else it won't install Now that it's finished installing, we can proceed through the setup of Mac OS. I guess this version of Mac requires you to actually fill this out. 10.5 does not. Now we can eject the 10.4 install disk and by downgrading to 10.4 from 10.5 we should now have the option for classic mode. Now in order to enable classic mode we will stick our OS 9 installation disk into the CD tray and once it's pulled up you just double click on install Mac OS 9 system support 
and proceed through the installation menu choose the disk I'm going to choose Mac OS 9 English. The neat thing is, is once this is all installed, anytime you put in a CD that requires a Mac OS 9 or Mac OS Classic support, the system will automatically detect that and it will automatically go in to Mac OS uh, Classic mode. You don't have to sit and switch back and forth or boot into a different operating system. Uh, it just does it automatically and uh, will make the support for your other for your older programs that work on classic work just fine now you can see it was a very fast installation and now we have a classic environment installed on this power mac g5 and we are ready to play some diablo now we can double click our application or in this case Diablo double click the Diablo installer and as you can see up here at the top we are getting the Mac OS 9 classic starting automatically and just like that we have Diablo running in the classic environment I'll be posting a video of me actually installing Diablo on this Power Mac at a later time. In this video I just wanted to cover how to enable classic mode on your Power Mac computer. Thanks a ton for watching, it really means a lot to me. To see more of my videos, make sure to click that subscribe button and turn on those notifications. I'm going to be posting new videos every Monday. So if there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, make sure that you leave it in the comments below. That's it for now. Appreciate it. Look forward to seeing you next video.